Welcome to the Spirit Spot. My name is Raina Shea Broussard, and it is my hope to help guide you into your Spirit Spot, even if just for a few moments out of your day. I invite you to set aside whatever you may have in front of you and settle into your seat if you're able. We'll start with three conscious breaths. Breathe in through your nose, slowly, evenly, deeply, filling your belly, and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Our touchstone for today is blind. In the story that I'll share, you will see quite plainly that even when someone thinks they know something with great certainty. They might know some things, but they might not know all. The same is true about God, the sacred, and the other world that is separate from this one. It's one thing to have faith in some very basic and simple ideas, but I would say it's also important to recognize that until we've been there, we are all blind when it comes to the sacred. Our reading today is a Hindu fable turned into a poem by John Godfrey Sachs. The Blind Men and the Elephant. It was six men of Indostan to learning much inclined, who went to see the elephant, though all of them were blind, that each by observation might satisfy his mind. The first approached the elephant, and happening to fall against his broad and sturdy side, at once began to bawl, God bless me, but the elephant is very like a wall. The second, feeling of the tusk, cried, Ho, oh, what have we here, so very round and smooth and sharp? To me tis mighty clear, this wonder of an elephant is very like a spear. The third approached the animal, and happening to take the squirming trunk within his hands, thus boldly up and spake, I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a snake. The fourth reached out his eager hand and felt about the knee. What most this wondrous beast is like is mighty plain, quoth he. Tis clear enough the elephant is very like a tree. The fifth who chanced to touch the ear said, Even the blindest man can tell what this resembles most? Deny the fact who can. This marvel of an elephant is very like a fan. The sixth no sooner had begun about the beast to grope than seizing on the swinging tail that fell within his scope. I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a rope. And so these men of Indostan disputed loud and long, each in his own opinion, exceeding stiff and strong, though each was partly in the right, and all were in the wrong. So oft in theologic wars, the disputants, I ween, rail on in utter ignorance of what each other mean, and prate about an elephant, not one of them, has seen. Again, our touchstone for today is blind. I invite you to pause throughout your day, 
for three conscious breaths and to reflect on the idea that each of us is blind when it comes to the sacred, which accentuates the mystery that is imbued with life. And may you create a great day.